In this video, we're going to see how the call function step works in Flow Builder and how we can use it to integrate with third party systems. The call function step allows to trigger a custom piece of code with any variable from a flow as an input and returns any string variable after execution. To create our functions, we will click on the left hand panel, the developers tab. After, we would click in functions, where we see list all the different functions defined in our workspace. We click in create a new function. The first thing we can do is to change the name of the function. In today's example, we will name it example one. In this sample code, we will, for example, get the variable name from a flow and we will send it to a list alongside how many letters are in this word. I define a variable name that I can use in the function step as variables.name. To be able to send information to the database, we will require a JavaScript library. We will click in the dependencies and we will look, for example, for the library Axios, which will allow us to do the HTTP POST request. We come back to the code and we start writing our function. This video is not about coding, so I will copy paste the function that I prepared in advance. First, we define variables. Then we count how many letters are in the word that we got from Flow Builder. Then we put the request over the database. It is important to notice something. The function needs to return something back to the flow. It will be presented as the result variable in Flow Builder. This return can be a JSON object in case we want to present multiple information. We click Save and Deploy. It can take some time to have the function read. We will see how the valid marker appears next to the function. Now we can go back to Flow Builder and make use of this function. We add the call a function step in a flow and we select from the drop down menu the function that we would like to use. In this case, the function is expecting a variable as an input. Here, you can use any variable that you want from the flow. We will use the responses of the customer in this case. See that the result of the function will be loaded under the variable result. We can also change the name of this variable to whatever is convenient for us. Bear in mind, if we remember from the function we were presenting the result under the variable's word count, this means that if we want to make use of the calculated value, we will need to refer to the nested variable result.wordCount. Let's run a simulation. See how the numbers of letters of the word hello is returned from the flow. If we try with another word, for example, message bird, the same behavior applies. Remember that in the function, we were not only counting the number of letters, but storing this information in a database. If we go to the database, we will see how these values are being recorded. This is the end of the video. Hope you are now understanding much better the capabilities of a call function step, how it works, and how it can be used to run calculations and to integrate with third-party systems.